cannot afford to get in here. Last summer, you guys saw Manny hurt his knee, had to go in and get surgery, and luckily he took care of his body enough to get back to fully healthy, and Caleb is dealing with his little minor injuries as well. And at this point in our careers, to take the next step forward, getting injured is not something that we can afford to happen. Probably be like my last week. Got a couple more weeks at least, but um, yeah, I'm on the way up. I'm about to finish up. Everything's smooth, so that's what it is. So as a group, we all really focus and take pride in taking care of our bodies. So as you guys see Manny doing his PT, he's doing his lifting, he's trying to eat as healthy as he can, coming in, warming up before workouts, Caleb doing the exact same thing. My preparation for how I get ready for games and now my training sessions on the court has changed drastically, even from last summer to this summer, because I'm starting to learn more about how my body works and if I want to do this for a long time, I need to take care of my body better than I have in the past. Little nagging injuries like my, I have like quad tendonitis, things with my ankles, my lower back. If I want to do this till I'm 35, then I need to take care of it. And a lot of that just comes from like taking the initiative on asking the right questions and trying to learn. Dirk is really top five. Okay. I heard what he said, you said, used to break it to yeah. my mom's yeah. room, used the butter knife. You don't know about that. You don't know about that. Oh my God. You need some gas on. Anything get back to the right side? Play with it, and go. Defense on your hips, kind of push you out. Fear. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna kind of. 
I throw a lob pass to him. From there, it's locked. So you're lifting up. When I throw the lob pass, you're closing out playing. Yeah, but you'd rather make a smart decision. I mean, you have, you have plenty of time. The way you've been doing it is perfectly fine. Like, you'll speed it up as you get better at making the decisions. It'll be able to speed it up, but... If you just try to go too fast, there's no f***ing point if you're making a wrong decision. So, but yeah, I mean, if you're going to shoot, you got to shoot quicker. If you're going to go, you got to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either like on the closeout or attack the closeout. I mean, sometimes that might be the read, though. It might be initially, oh, I'm going to go, and then you see, okay, yeah, yeah, so it's... It out, yeah. yeah, we can just go off the wing, so we'll go sliding over instead. Instead of sliding up, sliding over. I mean, that's the thing. Like, every time in a game, it's not always going to be a drive. So it's like, here, it's always something. Sometimes in a game, it's just a fucking swing. So it's really easy to see the highlights of a workout and just think everything was perfect and the workout looked great. But a lot of the workouts that I do and the sessions that Manny and Caleb do, especially when they're competing against each other, don't look pretty. There's a lot of times they mess up and I'm purposely putting them in situations where they're going to struggle, they're gonna mess up. That's part of it. The training's not gonna look pretty and most of the time the training's gonna look ugly. But this is all to make the game easier, make it look effortless for them once they actually get into the game. Is that four for you or three? Four, three. Keep your knee good. What the f is that, bro? has been like super impactful this off season for me. Um, I trust him with taking care of my body and, and leading me um, in the right direction. A lot of the stuff we're doing now is just isometrics to get my quads firing um, so I can rebuild the tendons um, and restore the tendons. Um, he has me taking the right uh, supplements. So like collagen mixed with vitamin C, uh, an hour before um, tendon training, uh, gets the right nutrients to it. Um, just little details like that, that, that can expand your career uh, three, four years. So I'm just trying to just kind of take advantage of all the resources I have around me right now. Let's do this. I'm going to give you, if we work some oblique training, when you go to the oblique, you're gonna feel that tight side. So we'll start first, just warming up the obliques, and then you'll go, instead of just the shoulders coming down, start to kick the hip a little, and you'll feel the difference from one side to the other. Small little circles to it if you need to. Yeah. I feel on that spot in my back, too. When I go, when I, yeah, 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 yeah. Shall we get? Uh, 
uh, I wanted to go to the front and tee up on the bike for like five, a good five minutes before okay. we get on our nice. legs. Okay. Tiger, um, Tiger Bomb? Yeah. When I, Did when you I, get the American one or the one from overseas? The one from overseas, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, bro. Bro, I um, I tore my hamstring when I was in college, and like they, we like rub it like like hot. It was like a high one, like right in my glute. Like halfway through the game, I like go to sit down, and I'm like sweating, and it's like going into like my balls, bro. <laughs> Bro, the worst pain had, in my life. I had it up here, and I put it on up here, and then it swept so down. When you start sweating, it, oh my god. This is no joke. Bro. They have more like ISO too. Yeah. I like that the foot placement on my, on my toes with the board. That's been helping a lot. In, but you should add with uh, while you hold the ISO, you need to interact with something. To, you have so the water have, thing, or you can do that, or you can take a med ball and we'll bring it from one side to the other. Here, just a couple where you work the position and follow me and stay with it, and then we'll work some of the rounding. All right. Remember when you put your feet together and hold outwards? Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. The fathers never beat themselves. How many? Electrolyte stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have as much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sodium as I thought it would. Like potassium, magnesium, a lot of calcium. Yes, yeah. but it's low on uh, sodium for some reason. Well, you can add in like Himalayan sea salt. Or yeah. Something like that. Even salt your food a little if yeah. you make well. If you make it all, if yeah. you get it, also you'd be surprised what has a high amount of sodium in it. Have we got no isos. Um, I want you to go into almost like you are gonna do like a crossover.
that when you leave uh, college, right, and you play at a high level, you have access to all of the best things to, to help you recover. Normatec, uh, Theraguns, cold tubs, cold tubs with the treadmill in it, just to help you recover and take care of your body. But when you leave college and now you kind of have to start from square one, um, a lot of times overseas, uh, you may not have access to the best physiotherapists like you're used to, so, and, and, and the amenities, so, learning um, how to take care of your body on your own um, so you don't have to outsource and then understanding um, that you need to invest into your in, into your body because otherwise you'll get overseas and you'll be it's, it's going to be a culture shock because your body you're, you're not going to have all of the resources that you had when you come from a school like Syracuse and Creighton and that that was a big culture shock and my body felt it so uh, I, I don't want that problem going into next season.